Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna continue our declutter and organize with me for 2023, and I am hitting the kids' closets and dressers. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson, and I love to do all things home, cooking, cleaning, decorating, and DIY, so definitely hit the subscribe button and join me on this channel for so much more in the coming year, and if you're returning, it is so great to see you. Okay, guys, let's jump into today's video and get this house organized. Here's what we're gonna need for today. I have bags, post-its, a pen, and I'm still working on this because this is the one I'm gonna add as a free printable for you guys. But basically, it's the day I wanna do this. It's the 14th. Um, which rooms I'm gonna be doing, it's all the kids. I was just gonna do the boys, but I, I have enough time to do all of them. So we're gonna do all the kids' rooms. We're gonna do organizing their daily clothes, giveaway donate, that's what these bags are for and then kids bathroom clean declutter organize um things i want to organize today are their daily clothes shoes bathroom routine so like making sure they have everything they need for each morning their dressers closets and i want to add their bedding to their room so right now i have it all in the pantry i'm sorry i have it all in the laundry room and i want to put it into their rooms things i definitely want to declutter are their uniforms pjs sports uh clothing um, socks, shirts, shoes, everything needs to be decluttered. While I am getting rid of things, like I know Teddy is going to need a couple things he's growing out of, um, like undergarments and what not. So I'm going to start listing those things here. That way I can order them or go pick them up. So they have what they need. Socks have been, uh, a little sparse in the house too. So I probably, what I'm gonna do is make a pile of each thing. So all the pajamas will be in a pile, all the socks will be in a pile. That way I can see what they have and what they need. So here are the room plans, the girls' closets, girls' dressers, check uh, checklist on needs. So like what do the kids need? Are they out of sweatpants or any of that type of stuff? And then check the closets. I have to build the closet for the boys, which I'm not, I'm gonna show you parts of, but not their whole room. And then here's the, this is like how I've organized the day. So I'm gonna put all the clothes on the floor and discard the things that they don't, that don't fit, make a plan for the uh, like like items. So I'll use post-its for like, this is where socks go, this is where j jammies go, all that type of stuff. Then I'm gonna fold and restock, make a list of items we need, and then lay out a week of clothing. So this is today's organizational plan. This keeps me on track. That way I don't have you know too many opportunities to get sidetracked. I'm going to be using my computer to watch other clean with me videos too. So we'll be doing that today. So I'm gonna stick to the plan and bring you guys along with me. Okay. Okay, let's get with these humble lacking everlasting ego. Never hit you a conversation takes to pay in it some interest from time to time. Inside all that greatness in all of your advent. The first thing we're gonna do is actually clean out this playroom. It has become an absolute catch-all for all the kids' stuff, and I absolutely need to get it organized. If you guys are new here, we did move uh, in the fall time of last year, and I have had a really hard time getting things organized, but as I get each room kind of organized, I have been working on a free printable for you guys. It's an organizational plan, and it has been a game changer. I have been using it for each room. I have been adding things to it and then scheduling it into my planner on when we're going to get into those rooms and tackle those projects. Now, I've been going back and forth on whether to put the boys back into this bedroom or keep them in the big playroom, and I have decided in this video while cleaning it out that I'm going to put the boys back in here. It is really distracting to have them in a bedroom where they also have their toys and the girls frankly really don't enjoy coming into this room. So what we're going to do is make this into the boys bedroom and then we will make a master playroom back in the big room where the black couch is. I'm going to show you guys everything up until I bring the kids personal items in here because I don't show my kids online but I'm fine to show you their beds and little things in here but I'm not going to show you all the private things. I'll show you the closets because we're going to definitely be decluttering those throughout the year but I don't want to show you like their plushies and their little posters and all the things that make them so unique and special as individuals. So once we get this room cleaned out we're going to give it a nice vacuum and then we're going to get a game plan together. Can't 
sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. Okay, so this room is officially cleaned out. I'm gonna do a quick vacuum. This is how she looks. And here's the closet. This is gonna make more sense, I think. I'll have Teddy's stuff here, Jack's stuff here, and then their little drawer pullouts here with their clothes. The boys don't have a ton of stuff, which is kind of nice, but um, yeah, I just think this will make more sense. I, have, I can guarantee you my oldest is gonna be really upset. He loves having this big room, but Anyway, <clears throat> so now what I need to do is dismantle their beds and um, yeah, I'll show you all the stuff out here. So this is everything that came out of the playroom. I am having the kids while I'm dismantling the beds. I'm going to, while I'm dismantling the beds, I'm going to have the kids go through here and put post-its on things that we can give away. Um, we already did this at Christmas time, so I have a feeling they're going to want to keep most of it. So anyway, we're just going to get all this cleaned up. I will start dismantling the beds. I'm not going to take you guys along with that part just because uh, the boys, I just, I don't want to. Oh, here's the other thing. Because I don't want to. Hey guys, full face of makeup to clean the house. Super normal. Okay, so here's the other thing I want to do. This is another reason I really want the boys in here is like Teddy can have his drawer, Jack can have his drawer. We're gonna get all of this dialed in today. Towels, I don't even know what's in here, oh my God. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna paint this. Yeah, not today, but okay, now I'm doing too much. Look at how their, I think their shower is actually bigger than mine, so jealous. Um, but anyway, that way I can have the boys shower in here. It just will make my life a lot easier to have them in there. This is cool. Cool, cool, cool. So these are the things we're going to do today. Uh, need to put a new light bulb in there. But okay, I am going to get started. With his humble lack and everlasting ego. Someone hurt your feelings not that long. It feels so good to get the boys in beds in here. If you guys remember these lights I bought for the living room, but they just didn't look right in there. I think we just need to put a giant chandelier, but they looked perfect in here. I always feel like when I buy things, cause I like the vibe of it. If I just wait long enough, it will always eventually find its forever home. Um, I do need to have my husband come in and take this TV down, but for now it's fine. I just kind of tucked the cords up there and then I'm putting their sheets on. I got these at Macy's. If you guys saw that Christmas haul, I got them for my nephews, but then, uh, I love them so much I ended up buying some for other kids as well. They're just so perfect. I love them because they're Christmassy, but they can also work throughout the whole year. Um, they just got that beautiful kind of tartan, you know, plaid vibe going on. Uh, very Harvard for the boys. So the other thing I want to say is if you guys want to, if you're looking for a new mattress this year, I did reach out to Lull, which is, um, the, that's where we ordered all our mattresses from. Um, I have Lull and then downstairs in our room, we have a Helix. But if you guys are interested in picking up this mattress, I did reach out and they did did renew my code from like forever ago. And uh, if you guys want to get an ex like up to $700 off your mattress, I will put a link down below and also a code as well. So definitely check that out if you guys are looking for a new mattress to get a good night's sleep in 2023. Okay, now I am also going to put their headboards together. I will link these down below. I got them on Wayfair. 
I love them. They were just quintessential country boy beds, uh, super sturdy and very easy to move around. But we're just gonna get these beds made and keep organizing. I haven't even gotten into the worst part of this video, so definitely stick around and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. Okay guys, so we are done in here. Since I don't have any of the kids' personal items in here yet, I'm fine to show you what it looks like, but I have night lights for their reading, and I have a little table for Jack's bedside. Ted doesn't need one, he's super young, but um, I put some nice cozy flannels on since it's still winter. They have a great view. These kids all have beautiful views of vineyards out their door or window. It's beautiful. We just had a massive rainstorm come through. It was so cool. We went outside and ran in it. Um, but anyway, so this is what the boys' room looks like. Now what I'm going to do is start the organizing process. So we are going to actually go through all these bins, put everything onto the floor, and start the organization process. I know I, I kind of took a detour here, um, but we will clean all of this out, uh, get the boys' week set. It's Saturday, so I've got you know, two days to get that done. But um, this way, you know, the last like couple weeks, every morning, the kids are just so unorganized and it's partially my fault because their other room doesn't have a closet. So they have to come in here and it's just super messy. But after today, it will all be done. Okay guys, let's get organizing. To get started on their clothing organization, like I have written on my plan, we're gonna dump everything out into the middle of the room. I've had these bins uh, since before Ted was born and he is going to be seven in March. So uh, they held up pretty well. They're from Target if you guys are interested in looking for a long-term investment. But I'm gonna go ahead and take all the clothes out and lay them out. I'm gonna go through what is getting um, passed down to Ted, what is going to get donated, what I'm giving away to people who have kids our age. I'm gonna put them in cer certain bags. Some of them I'm gonna bag up, take downstairs and actually wash, refold and rebag. That way I don't get too confused on having to remember like what's donated, what's giving away. And then we're going to add them into the closet really nicely. That way the boys can come in here, grab what they need every day. But I have to tell you, beginning this project, I started to get very overwhelmed at this point because there's so much stuff. And it was so crazy how long it's been since I've really decluttered the boys' things in a manner that kind of makes more functional sense for them in the daytime. But tell me down in the comments, how has 2023 been treating you? Have you guys started any of your kind of decluttering, you know, so beginning of the new year cleaning what have you guys been up to Okay guys, so here we are. I am going to get a bag for clothes that we are going to be donating and I'm gonna start labeling these bins. Um, I, I, pres I, I think half of this stuff is fine because I cleaned it out when we moved here. But, oh my God, this is so old. I've literally had these for seven years. They're from Target, so that's a seven year <laughs> box. Okay, so here's their little closet. I'm gonna do, um, probably 
socks, underwear, pajamas, tops, bottoms. And then uh, Teddy, since he's six, will have dailies. Jack doesn't need those. He's almost 12 years old. So I don't need, he doesn't need such a large setup. Um, and then I will put Teddy's shoes down there and Jack's shoes up here, I'm thinking. And then up here, I'm going to put their sheets and stuff here. So as we need them, they're in their rooms. It makes it a lot easier for me when I'm changing them. And then here's uh, travel backpacks and hiking backpacks and things that are theirs. But this is what we are looking at right now. And it is uh, 1230, so we're doing pretty well on time. So now I'm going to probably speed this up, but I'm going to mark each box and line them up here so I can start to put these things in them as I am decluttering. I'd love to know in the comments down below if you have children and how many kids you guys have. I have all kinds of different uh, friends here on this channel. I have everything from new, brand new married to first time moms to aunts, grandmas, everything you name it. I feel like you guys are all here and we are all kind of well represented at different phases of our life, which is what I really love about our community here. But let us know in the comments down below some of the hacks you have. If you are a mom or a grandma that has lots of kids stuff in the house we would love to know what kind of hacks you have for keeping things organized throughout the year I feel like I do one or two of these major declutters a year but even then it still feels super overwhelming so please share what you guys know of great hacks and ways to keep the kids clothes nice and organized Okay, so here's what we've got. My son definitely needs pajamas, my oldest. Little guy has plenty because he has a lot of hand-me-downs from my oldest son. Then we have shorts and pants. My son's definitely gonna need a restock on that. It's always the oldest that doesn't have the most stuff because everything gets handed down to the little. So here's Teddy's uh, long sleeve, short sleeve, shorts and pants, um, Jack's, uh, short sleeve, long sleeve, and then their swimsuits and socks and stuff. These are items I want to hang up, and these are either uh, sports related things like all his jerseys for all his sports or his um, shorts and stuff for uniforms. So, then what we're going to do now is go through all of this 
and then we're gonna start getting everything piled in. I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without, oh, his eyes are killing me. And he keeps talking about everything that he likes, and I can't stop listening. I'm thinking about him all the time, I'm thinking about him all the time, I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time. And my heart's been fast when it's looking like that, oh, his smile is killing me. It's the way that it moves and the way that it laughs, so I can't get enough. I'm thinking about him all the time, I can get him off my mind. Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine. My heart is saying, yeah, 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 yeah. You know I want him now, 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 now. My heart is saying, yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter. I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do Everything's really new Even if we stay in bed My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Okay, so here is how it turned out. I'm gonna just show you guys and then I'm gonna bring in their personal belongings, but this is Jock's bed, Ted's bed, and then in here, I finally got it nice and organized. So they have, you know, country club and church stuff up here, kind of more formal stuff. Teddy has every single day lined out, ready to go, and then all his stuff down here. Jack's got sports stuff, all his clothes. He can just, he, he, his uh, uniform changes a couple days a week. So we have that, his sports shoes, and then their school shoes go downstairs. I do need to figure out um, kind of a system for their shoes because um, this is a really small closet, but at least I've got this done so in the mornings it's not so chaotic. But I thought I'd show you guys that, and now we'll go into the bed. Na, 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 na. I say, yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it starts, when it starts. I told him I would do it all for you, and I know you do it for me. Since this room is super messy, but the kids seem to have a lot of stuff in here, I think I'm going to be actually building in like a California closet in here. That way they have all kinds of room. They can store their things. Right now I have their five day uh, little folders for each of their, you know, Monday through Friday for their uniforms and free dress or whatever. But I really do want to get these closets organized. Some of the kids have much larger closets than the others. Uh, obviously the girls have bigger closets than the boys. I feel like my boys wear the same thing every single day, but for the most part, I want to get these really deeply organized and give everything a place. Um, since doing this, mornings have been so much smoother. I've moved the kids' shoes upstairs. That way they can get fully dressed before coming downstairs. I also like that I don't have to tell them what they need. It's already in the basket. The shoes should be right below it. And this clutter, I can only imagine how frustrating this is for a small child uh, to come in here and not be able to find anything. I have to tell you, I found a whole bunch of my stuff in this part of the closet, which I was thrilled to find, uh, but there was so much stuff. I found two pairs of her school shoes that I already had to rebuy because we assumed she lost them. So it is really important to continue to declutter. I think that's one of the reasons I've been so stressed out with this house. Oh, I have a very exciting um, kind of like announcement coming up on a video very soon about the house and just really re-envisioning what I want to do here. I think that's why I've had such a hard time with it, but now I'm feeling so motivated and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and just continue to declutter this closet. I've got like five or six different piles going. Uh, she's got Christmas stuff in here, books. She's got 
just you name it, it's in this room. And then we'll go over to her dresser. Again, I'm not gonna show you her whole bedroom because that's her private area, but I will show you her uh, dresser and uh, just kind of how I'm doing that. My youngest daughter does not like to have KonMari, like the folded method. She, for whatever reason, does not care for that. She likes everything to be folded uh, in a certain way. So I'm gonna do hers a little bit different than I did the boys, but everything turns out really beautiful and really well organized. So after I got all of her stuff put away, here is how her closet turned out. My, what a transformation. I was able to get rid of quite a bit of stuff. Again, with the younger kids, I don't have any more kids to pass those things on to, so I am going to donate them. And then I always wrap her matching pajamas up together and just stack them up. I hope today gave you a little bit of motivation to get organized in the new year. I have many more videos coming up and definitely check out some of my other videos on my channel. I've been doing organizational videos for many years now, and I would love it if you would check those out too. I will throw them down in the description box down below and I will also link most of the furniture you saw here today. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video real soon. Bye!